Hi guys. Today I will be discussing pathophysiology. A peptic ulcer. A peptic ulcer is a circumscribed lesion. In the mucosal membrane, of the upper GI tract. Peptic ulcers can develop in the lower esophagus, stomach, duodenum, and jejunum. Types of peptic ulcer. The two major forms of peptic ulcer are duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer. Now, coming to etiology of peptic ulcer. Etiology means cause of the disease. Helicobacter pylori gastritis. In a peptic ulcer, due to H. pylori, acid adds to the effects of the bacterial infection. H. pylori releases a toxin that destroys the stomach's mucus coat, reducing the epithelium's resistance to acid digestion and causing gastritis and ulcer disease. NSAID induced mucosal injury. NSAID stands for Nonsteroidal Anti inflammatory drugs. Nonsteroidal anti inflammatory drugs are responsible for direct toxicity, endothelial damage, and epithelial injury to both gastric as well as duodenal mucosa. Other local irritants Pyloric antrum and lesser curvature of the stomach are the sites most exposed for longer periods to local irritants and, thus, are the common sites for occurrence of gastric ulcers. Some of the local irritating substances are heavily spiced foods, alcohol, cigarette smoking, unbuffered aspirin, dietary factors. Nutritional deficiencies have been regarded as etiologic factors in peptic ulcers. Example Occurrence of gastric ulcer in poor socio economic strata. Psychological factors Psychological stress Anxiety Fatigue Genetic factors People with blood group O appear to be more prone to develop peptic ulcers than those with other blood groups. Genetic influences appear to have greater role in duodenal ulcers, as evidenced by their occurrence in families. Monozygotic twins. Hormonal factors. Secretion of certain hormones by tumors is associated with peptic ulceration. Example. Elaboration of gastrin by islet cell tumor in Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, endocrine secretions in hyperplasia and adenomas of parathyroid glands, adrenal cortex, and anterior pituitary. Miscellaneous. Duodenal ulcers have been observed to occur in association with various other conditions, such as alcoholic cirrhosis, chronic renal failure, hyperparathyroidism, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and chronic pancreatitis. Pathogenesis of peptic ulcer. Pathogenesis means the way in which the disease develops. Signs and Symptoms of Peptic Ulcer First, we will learn, Signs and Symptoms of Duodenal Ulcer Pain Food Relief Pattern Night Pain Common No Vomiting Melena More Common Than Hematmesis No Loss of Weight No Particular Choice of Diet Deep Tenderness in the Right Hypochondrium Mark Seasonal Variation Occurs More Commonly in People at Greater Stress Now, Signs and Symptoms of Gastric Ulcer Food. Pain pattern. Vomiting common. No night pain. Hematmesis more common. Significant loss of weight. Patients choose bland diet devoid of fried foods and curries. Deep tenderness, in the midline in epigastrium. No seasonal variation. More often in laboring groups. Diagnosis. Of. Peptic ulcer. These tests, are used to diagnose peptic ulcer. Upper GI endoscopy or confirms an ulcer and permits cytologic studies and biopsy to rule out H. pylori or cancer. Endoscopy is the major diagnostic test for peptic ulcers. Upper GI tract x-ray reveals mucosal abnormalities. Stool analysis may detect occult blood in stools. These are other important tests. Treatment of peptic ulcer Drug therapy for helicobacter Pylori Infection 
consists of one to two weeks of antibiotic therapy using amoxicillin, tetracycline, metronidazole, or clarithromycin. Surgery is indicated if the patient doesn't respond to other treatment or has a perforation, suspected cancer, or other complications. That's it for peptic ulcer. For more videos, subscribe to my channel.